Hi all, uh, in this session we are going to see how to fix the cause issue. I have already put a video on uh, describing about cause issue. So I would recommend you to understand the cause issue be before you come to this video. I will also add the link to the description. Okay. So the cause issue, uh, fixing the cause issue, you can do it uh, both from the browser end and the server end. Okay, uh, for this to make you understand how to fix the cause issue, I have a simple project. Okay, um, uh, I have a Angular application running in localhost 4200, and uh, I have a Node server running in localhost 8081, and the 4200, the Angular application uh, tries to uh, get employees, tries to do a API call to localhost the server. Okay. Since it is because it is both of cross origin, we will get a cause issue. And uh, if you have understood the cause issue, it happens because the browser do does not load the resource. Though the server sends the response, the browser will not load the resource if if it uh, if the request does not satisfy the requirement of the server. That is uh, whatever uh, it is being provided in the course request header, response headers. If the request does not satisfy whatever is being sent by the server, the uh, the browser will not load the resource. Okay. So uh, this can be uh, pitched in two ways. Either uh, the best way is to do it from the server so that you can make the server. Uh, send uh, remote allow access origin to uh, rectify from the server end so that it will work for all the uh, maybe uh, you have an app or a browser which is uh, hitting the server all will work right you understand so the server itself is, uh, allowing the origin that is you are enabling the uh, cross origin resource sharing from the server Okay, if the server itself saying that I allow the resource, I allow the resource to be shared across multiple origins. So it can be done from the server end or as a hack from the browser itself, you can have, uh, you can install some extension which will bypass what is being sent from the server and it will add up some response headers. So that to make the browser allow to load the resource. Okay. So uh, for explaining this, I have a simple project. Uh, <clears throat> I have the client which is running in the browser, which is running in Angular, and I have the node. Okay, um, node, node server, which is running in node. So this is run, uh, running in port 8081, and the Angular is running in 4200. Okay. Now, uh, in this application, if I try to fetch it, I am not able to see anything. What is happening is, you can, if you go to the network, you can see that issue, the cross issue happening. Okay. If I go to the network, you can see. Okay. This has happened because uh, the server response header, in the course header, if you see, it has said uh, what all is allowed from the server. Okay. But uh, what is sent by the client is, it ha adds up an authorization header, which is not allowed by the server. If you see in the access control allow headers, authorization is not there. So the browser does not load the response. You, can, you are not able to see the response itself. You can see this. You are not able to see the response itself. Right. can also see that in the console error okay here if you see it also says that it was blocked by the course policy authorization is not allowed by the access control allow headers in the pre-flight response that's why this is being blocked by the browser so this can be fixed in two ways either from the server from the server you can uh, make it to allow the authorization header 
which is the best way to fix it or in the browser you can hack it so that before it reaches the browser in the middle you can add up this uh, in the access allow you can modify this access control allow headers to add this authorization that also you can do okay so first let us see from the server end that is in, uh, in this case it is a node server so we will see how to uh, enable the course in the node server so that it shares the resource with the local host 881 the angular uh, application okay so let me go to the node uh, node thing so this is my uh, this is where my node is running so what i will do is just uh, do npm install course okay once it uh, has installed you just do this require course that is i am using that package and i am making the app to use that course okay app dot use course app dot use course you are making it to use course okay now restart the system now restart the server now it should be fixed for you and uh, it should the browser should allow the request so now let's see that so now you are able to see the response how it happened is if you go to the inspect network okay <clears throat> in the pre-flight response right you will if you see that now it allows all the headers right it also allows authorization header also right now uh, since it allows the authorization header the the browser loads the response okay that's why we are able to see the response in the page okay this is one way from the server we, we have allowed the in the access control header we have allowed that all the headers this happens because we enable course through the course npm package that's what i did here right i enable the course install the course and uh, i have used made the app is nothing but the express i have made the express to use course so i have enabled the course this is one way okay so we have satisfied the first way of doing now as a hack if i want to do it from the browser end browser end is more of a hack okay the uh, for, uh, for the browser uh, as a, i say it as a hack because what we are doing when the response comes from the server in the midway we are adding this access control allow header through a extension called as requestly we install this extension and uh, through the extension in the midway before it reaches the browser we are adding this header so that the browser to facilitate the browser to load the resource this may be uh, as a can be a temporary just for testing because this may not work if you are not able to install the extension maybe you have a electron application electron uh, browser where your application is running in that case you can't install requestly or you have a android app or ios app in that case you can't install requestly so this method will not work okay from the browser so to uh, prove it from the browser let me what i will do is i will first uh, disable course in the in the server end so that i can show you from the browser okay now if you see it should not work right now if you see it will not work because it would be disabled by course now to make it work what i'm going to do as per uh, my thing we have to first install the extension this requestly extension is available in chrome as well as firefox So uh, let's now go to Chrome. 
So to install the requestly, what you can do is you just go to Chrome Web Store, Google Chrome dot Google dot com dot Web Store, and you search requestly here. Okay, you have searched for requestly here, and uh, you say add to Chrome. So you say add extension. Now it should be added to Chrome. Okay. Now the requestly is been added to Chrome. Now uh, click on this and make this click on this icon so that requestly will be added to the extensions toolbar. Okay, you have the uh, requestly added to the extensions toolbar now. Now uh, you can add the rules so that you can add up the. You can click on open app. So uh, I go ahead with creating the rule. So in the rule, what we need to add is we have to modify the header. Access control allow header, right? And we have to add up authorization there because that is what is blocking the browser from opening. Uh, sharing the opening the resource right access control allow header we just co will copy this okay for time being so let me modify the headers and i want to add it is add response in the response not in the request and the header name is uh, header name is access control allow headers Okay, and the value I want to add is authorization, right? That was uh, authorization, and the URL for which I need to do this is so the you have to see the uh, URL from what where the response will come. For me, uh, the server address is 8081, so I can add up localhost 8081. I have put uh, add the response. Access control allow headers and add authorization. And if you create the rule, it also needs a rule name. You can add it, okay? And create rule. Once the rule is created, now let's see whether it works for us. Now it is working. Why? How it is working? Because the requestly would have modified the response, bypassed the response which is coming from the server and added the authorization header there if you see here in the pre-flight response if you see you will see this has been added by the requestly access control allow headers this has been added by requestly so now the browser allows this response uh, to be shown it actually allows the response to be shown because the server says that I also allow authorization. Now, though the request sends authorization header, the browser allows it because browserly has bypassed and modified it. So that's how we modify. Uh, <clears throat> we fix the browser cost issue in the browser. Uh, in this case, actually, uh, uh, we modified the access control allow headers and we added authorization because that was the error shown in my uh, console. You can see if the console, you can see that it, it was saying that authorization is not allowed by access control allow headers. So based on this error, you can decide what header has to be modified. Maybe for you, it may come that your uh, origin is not supported. In that case, you have to add the access control allow origin. You need to add that, add your origin into access control allow origin. So for me, since the error was coming that authorization was missing in access control allow headers, I added authorization in access control allow headers in the requestly. So for you, it may be different okay okay hope this is clear
thank you have a nice day